Hi everyone, this is Tammy Patzer and this is Ask Tammy. And today I'm going to show you some really cool free stock photo sites that I think you'll really get a lot of benefit from. So I'll go ahead and show you my favorite. And this is the USA.gov site. These are public domain photographs taken by photographers all over related to everything related to the United States. So think about it here. Uh, for example, let's go take a look at the Fish and Wildlife Services and they have a digital library. And of course, because these are in the public domain, typically you can use them for whatever you want to use them as long as you give credit to whatever the service is or the person. Always be sure to check what the requirements are in any of these free photo sites that I'm going to tell you about because most of the time the only requirement is that you give credit to the photographer and the organization including the government. In this case you would give credit to the photographer here and they're saying USFWS so that's the US Fish and Wildlife Service for example. And it's really simple. You just do keyword searches. So that's really cool. So that's one of my favorites. And of course, you have health and nutrition. Think about it. If you want photographs, you know, related to medicine or arts, money, the mint, even you can even get NASA photos, um, photos from the government, agricultural research. If you take a look at the agricultural research here, I'll just click on fruits and vegetables. There you go, beautiful copyright free images that you could use related to food. They even have illustrations that they've done. And of course, all of this has been paid for with tax dollars, so anyone can use it um, at any time. So lots of opportunity here. And think about what you could do with these photos on your Pinterest or your Facebook or in videos. And again, you just want to look and see what they have. They even have videos available that you can use. So think about all the possibilities of, of just this one site. So let's go ahead and take a look at the creativecommons.org. Again, this is a search engine. So just note that they're saying, okay, go check out all these places, but they're not saying that you can use them. You need to, of course, make sure that whenever you go to a site looking at photography or video that you always check their use policy. So again, this is creativecommons.org. Let's go take a look at, uh, let's see here. This one is RGB stock photos, free stock photos. Again, you can sign up free and you look for photos and you can just find out, you know, that there's a lot of really cool stuff that you can use. But again, always check to be sure what the usage is on this. One, this is Dreams Time. And Dreams Time is a site that you can get both free and paid. So again, you would want to look through it and determine if it is something that is free to use or if you need to buy credits and in dreams time you can get photos for as little as 20 cents and I have worked for companies that actually used a lot of dreams times photos so that's another opportunity uh, let's go ahead and see what else we have here this is free digital photos net if you notice here I it has some advertising on it and so I want to just give you a little bit of a warning on some of these sites, uh, make sure that you check these sites out and don't download anything that appears to be an advertisement or if they ask you for too much information. So it's your responsibility, of course, to, to figure out if these sites are good sites. Of course, the government site, you should be able to trust that one. I know Dreams Time is, is a site that many people have used. Um, also, iStock Photo, of course, is one that many people use, and it is also 
uh, a typically a paid site, but they also have some free sites. So you'll want to check out all of these different sites. Uh, there are some other ones, for example, um, sxc.hu is another one. And this one is has got some free information and free photos on it. And it has uh, been recommended by several other people. So I would go ahead and take a look at this. Uh, go ahead. Uh, there's Morgue File, Graphic Driver. There are a lot of them. But these are just a handful. And if you look into the description box that goes with this, this video, I have listed 10. And again, think about everything that you could do with these photos when you are creating your Kindle book, your Amazon book, your Facebook pages, your Pinterest pages. You can create some really cool photos with quotes and have unlimited information for filling your information sites your Facebook, your Pinterest, your Twitter, and also for making videos. So again, this is Tammy Patzer, and this is Ask Tammy. Feel free to send me any type of questions, and I'll get you the answers. This is Tammy Patzer. Go to asktammy.tv and see what I'm all about. Thank you. Bye.